Hi, Paolo. Thank you for taking the time. Um, what did you see in the data to confirm that the uh, lander has separated from Rosetta? And it was a procedure of 17 minutes where many things were commanded and uh, each thing was confirmed. For example, there were a heat up of uh, some elements, there were micro switches that were showing that the, the latches that kept, kept the lander uh, locked on Rosetta were open. And finally, we had the micro switches that showed separation. And what is for us very important for us on the orbiter, we also saw that the orbiter was of course moving a bit but well within the the ranges that we were expecting so it was a very very soft and smooth separation As, was there any moment of relief when you got that uh, last bit of data extreme extreme relief this was a um, i would say for for the mission was the most important or most critical moment uh, for the lander we have another one coming which is the touchdown but for the mission overall because had something gone wrong in this separation uh, we could have endangered also the Rosetta mission, which continues. The Rosetta has to fly around the comet and do its science for another two years. And uh, we didn't want that. We didn't want that. So we were a bit nervous. Uh, okay, everything was analyzed. Well, we've never used this mechanism before in flight. We've never seen how Rosetta reacts by getting rid of 100 kilos on its back. And uh, suddenly, um, well, everything worked well. So for me, this was extremely important because it meant a lot to both Lander and Rosetta. And, and with the issue with the uh, Lander's uh, cold gas propulsion system, uh, does that give you any additional anxiety more on top of what you already were expecting? It does, of course. Yeah, the, the, um, we knew that uh, uh, we had very little control on what happens after touchdown, uh, so we knew that we needed a lot of luck on the surface for this lander to survive. Now, with this uh, uh, inconsistent uh, results of the, of the priming of this system, uh, we have, a, as you said, uh, additional anxiety. Um, we don't know whether the motor is working or not. We have inconsistent readings. I always like to be optimistic and I hope that the 50% that tells us the positive news is the right one, but we can't say. We will only know it on the, on the surface. Our lender control center people, uh, they are the experts of the lender. They are looking into what happened last night. Maybe they get come up with some good explanation in the coming hours, but uh, yeah, I guess the final proof will be when we touch down. So there is some hope that it could be a false reading in the instrumentation. I definitely hope that if it is true that the, that the motor doesn't work, it's going to be very difficult for the lander to survive on the surface. Even that is not said. Maybe it does. It just bumps a bit and then so it continues. But uh, I would prefer that this is a false reading. Thank you.